I definitely feel like I got a second chance to prove that I have what it takes to be here. I'm not willing to let that slip away. Today, you must each work with a guest artist and tattoo their design. Oh, God, tattooing other people's art can sometimes be a nightmare. Sometimes you're stuck doing a bad tattoo. Let's meet your guest artists and your canvases. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Approximately 400,000 Americans have Down syndrome. Down syndrome is the most commonly occurring chromosomal condition that occurs when a person has an extra copy of chromosome 21. Individuals with Down syndrome experience cognitive delays, but the effect is usually mild to moderate and is not an indicator of the many strengths and talents each individual possesses. For some, art is one of those talents. Each of today's guest artists with Down syndrome has brought a loved one with them who wants their artwork tattooed on them forever. This is my son, Jay, and I'm here today for him. He said it was his wish come true. Craig. Yes. He's a fan of Craig. There's times where you question, are we really doing something that somebody really wants to have for the rest of their life? And this is one of those moments that you don't even have to ask any questions. This is why I'm a tattoo artist. I just want to do something really special. I like it. I like it, too. I think we did a good job. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machines down. No more ink. <laughs> Just like something he would do. Thank you for hanging out today. Can I give you a hug? Craig and Jay. So, Jay, when you picked your skull and you saw Craig was your artist, you seemed very happy about that. My friend? My guy. He's your guy? Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell Craig you wanted bright colors? Mm -hmm. It's a really bright tattoo. I think it stands out. I love the little details in the faces and the fingers. I think it's very cool. Good job. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Awesome. Craig. The little details you put in here, the precise fine lines you put in, the strands of those muscles, and the way you followed it with the shading, it's really nice. This is what you guys are competing against. And this is what we compare all of your muscle tissue to. At the end of the day, this is what you're fighting, not me. This week's challenge was precision. We did anatomical tattoos. Saw some stuff that looked really anatomically correct. Craig's was a great example of precision. Craig brought such dynamic details into this very simple muscle. That's what really impresses me. That's one of the tops of damn my opinion, too. He paid attention to small details and got it right. Today, you needed the precision of a surgeon to create realistic anatomical tattoos. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day Goes to Craig. We felt like you did the best job. The color high popped out all the way to the detail. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. For this flash challenge, we have a special group of canvases for you. Each of today's canvases has suffered a severe injury. Wow. You will have to transform their gnarly scars oh, no. into phenomenal tattoos. The hardest part about working with scars is that you're not tattooing regular skin that is smooth. You could break the skin, traumatize it more, and stuff. Hey, young buddy, you all right? That's big. <laughs> That's good, there. My biggest competition in this flash challenge is definitely Craig. He incorporated his scar into the actual tattoo. I have what it takes to be Ink Master because I am versatile. I've definitely not settled on just being a great new school tattoo artist. Craig? How did you guys come up with this concept? I thought that if I could somehow incorporate the dog biting me, it kind of saved me a lot of explaining to do. I would never know there's any scar tissue there because what Craig did was enhance it. The dog is where you displayed your talents in this challenge, using your light grays and dark grays and blacks to really give this the value and the richness that what we're looking for. Did a great job. Thank you. Craig is definitely proving to be a big threat in this competition. You guys started out in Georgia, right? Mm-hmm. I started out in 
started in 95. And honestly, I had a lot of difficulty finding placement in life. I've been in trouble all of my life. Finding tattooing just been the only escape from trouble that I've had. Two kids tried to rob me in front of my house, and I got shot. Bullet went through my hip and my spine. Getting shot was like the least of my concerns. The only thing I really cared about was I going to be able to tattoo. My doctor told me, like, you're lucky. I was in the hospital for like three days. Got back to work within four days. I definitely feel like I got a second chance to prove that I have what it takes to be here. I'm not willing to let that slip away. Craig. The crosshair pattern with these circles sits nicely on the body, and I just think it's one of the more creative, conceptual ideas that we've seen today. I wasn't planning on going home today. Overall, man, the circles with the plane coming out of the circles gives it a very cool, old war and propaganda feel. It shows a lot of artistic creativity. This is a very competitive, strong way to come out and try to play the game. Thank you. All right, guys, we've seen 11 artists go head to head. Time to debate an overall win of the day. I really think Eric's tattoo was perfect application throughout. Great composition. Vote for Eric. Eric's application is beautiful, but Craig really, really hit it out of the park in composition. Really took a swing for the fences, and I'm definitely with Craig. Just in terms of overall creativity, I'm voting for Craig. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Craig. In this flash challenge, you must tattoo a barcode. The lines are right next to each other, so if you have one line with a little jaggy part in it, right away, you're going to see it. Let's go meet your canvases. So put the boxes in the middle of the room. For today's flash challenge, you've each been randomly assigned a human canvas. But first, there's one other detail I left out. We're giving you new tattoo machines. All right. Thank you. There is a catch. You must assemble your machine and use it to tattoo your barcode. We're going to boom him? No way. As artists, you should understand the mechanics of your tools. Craig. It really shows that the machine was running right for you. You were able to use not only very fine lines, but thicker lines. You sculpted out your letters and numbers, and they look really super tight. Thank you. I would love to see something that Craig can't do. He's definitely the number one runner right now. Today, we pushed your limits. Not only did we ask you to assemble your own tattoo machine, but you also had to tattoo the ultimate test of line. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Craig. You will have the power to assign all human canvases for the elimination tattoo. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.